You all voted. Rose Gold won! Ah! And I feel so relieved because I feel like we are in sync on the same page and I'm stoked. Any of y'all saw my first video using Overtone. It was the first time I'd colored my hair, specifically my grays. I don't remember what the timeline is now, but it had been a while. I used the Overtone for brown hair, rose gold and purple, mixed them together. Because it was a first use, first impression video, I left y'all with some unanswered questions. So I'm really excited to be partnering with Overtone today to answer those questions. The number one question was how long does it take to fade? How long does the color last? So I'm excited to tell you that in today's video, not only will I be applying the product, you'll get to see the results on my hair, but then I also will be documenting each wash day as it fades so you'll be able to see the difference from the beginning to the end. The second most common question was does it stain gray hair and I can attest after multiple uses that it does not but you'll get to see that process as well. It does stick around in the grays longer which I love but it does not ultimately stain. I've been wanting to color my hair again so bad and I've been waiting to get it set up for this video so let's do it. I just want to familiarize y'all with Overtone. They have color depositing conditioners and deep conditioners for hair and they have a specific line for people with brown hair. Yay! Um, the brand is vegan and cruelty free, free of sulfates, parabens, ammonia, is suitable for all hair types. For those of you that follow the curly girl method strictly with no silicone, there is amidipithicone in the ingredients. It's further down in the ingredients and I will attest I've used different colors multiple times. I've never experienced buildup on my hair so do with that what you will. I'm pretty excited because I've, although I've used this color before, I've never used it on its own. I've used it mixed with the purple. So, ah, I'm so excited. I need some winter spice in my life. I'm going to invest in an actual cape in the future, but I cut a trash bag and going to clip. Overtone does include gloves when you purchase, but they are a little big. Um, and so they can kind of be hard to work with. So I purchased some gloves. Think about how these are gonna probably be snagging my hair. Wow. Overtone does advise to apply to dry hair. Um, that's what I did in the past. That's what I'm going to do now. I did wash my hair two days ago, shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in only. So essentially I have a pretty clean slate. It's going to quickly detangle. Chloe loves y'all. So there is the color. It smells so good. All right, so we're just gonna go in with the first scoop. I am just going to slather this on. I didn't use a brush last time to distribute, but I'm going to this time because I really just wanna get it in there. My grays are up here. This is where the real party's at. Look at that color. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more and really go at these roots. Especially because I have a lot of gray slash white hair at the top and I really want them to pick up the color. Massage it a little bit. Really make sure all those strands are coated. Color is in. Directions advise to leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, which is what I'm going to do. The good thing is if you get to these little stains quick enough, they just wipe right off. Otherwise, you can apply a little bit of shampoo, any shampoo to your towel, rub it, and it'll come right off. I'm already thinking pink is my color. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm going to let it sit for a few more minutes. I'm going to rinse it out style, and then I will check back in with you when it's fully dry and pink. And we're back with rose gold for brown hair. Look at that, y'all. Color really deposits heavy and is really obvious especially towards my ends which tend to be lighter and it's a little bit more subtle in the hair that's naturally a little bit darker it's a little dark in here i've got all my lights going but it's been super overcast so i'm going to take you in front of one of my windows dark 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 oh look at that color
Oh, I just love it so much. Those pops where it's like really, really vibrant, that is my gray hair. And those are the ones that tend to last the longest. All right, so what do y'all think of the color? It did not transfer over to my pillowcase last night, but what did transfer to my pillowcase is some cute little bulldog slobber. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be showing y'all that today. I will see you after the next wash to check in on the fading. See you then. And we are at our first wash milestone. This is the first time I have cleansed my hair since applying the deep conditioner. So there is already a little bit of fading. Um, what I kind of like about this color in specifics is I feel like it kind of matches like the undertones of it, almost match the undertones of my hair. So it kind of makes my brown a little bit richer and more vibrant. Also really showing up with a very obvious pop of color in my grays and like towards my ends, like the places in my hair that tend to have a lighter color. The color tends to not be as obvious um, when I'm not in sunlight and then you see it more in sunlight. Whereas like my grays, for example, that pink is obvious with or without sunlight. Now I wanna show you in some natural light. One thing I did also notice before I even washed it is that I didn't do as good of a job of getting the color on my roots right here. I think I grabbed like this chunk. If I wasn't filming the fading process, I would actually just add another round of color. I did that in the past, made the color even more vibrant and then I can be sure to get those areas that I did not do a great job applying to in the first time. All right, that's wash number one. I'll see you after the next wash. It is the second wash and here is some sunlight. Amazing wash day plus really cute rose gold hair. And I'm loving it. And it's snowing in Philadelphia. Not sticking yet, but I feel like it's a good sign. Here's my ends. I feel like gold, <laughs> the, like, the more rose gold is like becoming more obvious. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll see you on the next wash. Hi, Shelly. Hi. <laughs> it is wash day three, y'all. So the color, I would say, is definitely fading a bit more. It's still pretty obvious, um, especially in the light. Um, you can definitely see it more at my ends. I mentioned on application, I missed some of it. So that's why there's not as much color there, but you can definitely see because there's no color there, the differences. I've mentioned before when using this product that because it's a deep conditioner, it really doesn't do damage. My curls have had no problem bouncing back. All right, y'all, I'll see you on the next wash. We are wash number four. This is like, I don't know, day three or day four. Color is obviously substantially faded at this point, but still pretty obvious in my ends like you can still see <laughs> my angles y'all <laughs> i feel like when you first put it on the pink is more obvious but then as it kind of fades the like actual rose goldy like the gold hints of it um come in more and it's not going yellow that's a plus as much as i love the like really vibrant color this is probably like probably three Wash three, wash four are probably my favorite points because I just love the like subtle pastel vibes of it. Look at my babies in the background. <laughs> Watching mommy work. <laughs> All right, that is wash four. I will see you on the next one. We are wash day five, y'all. And it just might be like wash day five, day five. <laughs> I am outside because the color is mostly gone. There's still just like a slight undertone that the sun picks up. I can see it in person when the sun hits it. I don't think it's relaying as much to camera. It is super, super, super subtle at this point. There really just needs the light um, in order to really be able to see it. But that's wash five. That's my update, y'all. <laughs> I will see you after wash six. It is <laughs> jumping a little ahead. Wash seven, <laughs> I don't know what day after wash seven, but now I've officially washed my hair seven times. In person, this just looks like back to my normal golden color. And now like seeing it in the camera, I feel like it might be picking up some pink still. Okay, I guess we're not calling it. <laughs> it's almost gone though. 
Now I'm just going to continue to wash my hair and I will check in finally once I'm like 100% sure it's gone. Hopefully I'm not just tripping. See you then. All right, y'all, I am officially calling it. And we are, drum roll please, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> 10 washes in, 10 washes, and there are no remnants of the color left in my hair. As I mentioned, it was mostly hanging out in my grays, and they're back to being white. <laughs> I don't even know if I should really call them grays because they're white. And the gold that you see in my hair is just the gold that is normally and naturally occurring in my hair. Well, if you're looking for some temporary fun, it's not going to damage your hair, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out overtone and things to keep in mind is everyone's results are going to be different that is something to keep in mind is not to hold the 10 days as the holy grail it's 10 days for me but the point is to show that ultimately it will wash out and it is not going to stain even gray hair all right y'all links to check out overtone will be down in the description if it was your first time here again my name is janelle we do all things curly and then some and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button yet what are you waiting for <laughs> go slam that subscribe button hit that bell while you're at it to turn on post notifications so you do not miss a thing and I will see you next time. Okay, love you, bye.